At the RoboBusiness Conference in Silicon Valley, Canvas shows why it's a one-of-a-kind robot. It's the first kind that can do drywall finishing. It uses different sensors to help determine where it is in the room to help it do the drywall finishing work. Other robots showcase their ability to learn. So with 15 seconds of data, this model learned, uh, in three attempts, this model learned to turn this top square valve and then adapted to turn every other, valve, uh, every other bolt here as well. Some robots aren't phased when they're knocked off course. I can push it and it won't fall down. This humanoid robot has aftermarket software installed by Field AI that can give any robot, even robot dogs, the ability to navigate their environment on the fly. The robot can navigate a space and execute a task without having any sort of pre-programmed route trajectories, uh, any maps or, or any sort of intervention. On the other end of the spectrum is a robotic device so small it can go straight down the hatch. And I just, I swallow it. Please, yeah. Okay. Tori Smith, the CEO of Endiatic, swallows two pillbots. Steered by a video game controller, the robotic devices transmit live video so that you can see inside the stomach and even catch a view of one of the pillbots. And we see the pillbot he swallowed. I mean, it's a FPV drone, right? It's a, it, it flies around and you can control it. You get a little bit of a live video feed. You've got some LED headlights to, to sh show the way and illuminate your path. The hope is that Pillbot can be thought of as the world's first virtual endoscope that could work over, say, a telemedicine call. Smith says as it's essentially a polycarbonate shell housing propellers and an electric motor, Pillbot is definitely felt upon being swallowed. But he says you don't really feel anything once it's in the stomach. Here we can see the duodenum. Or upon its natural exit, too. It basically is like an eyeball that, that squirts water to swim around. It doesn't really swim with a lot of force. And the good thing about that is that in the stomach, it offers a fair amount of safety. From there, we'll see what we can do to make Pillbot effective in other parts of the body. Smith has high hopes that FDA approval will come in about a year, perhaps launching a new era of microbiotic exploration inside the human body. Mark New, CGTN, Santa Clara, California.